and welcome to my channel Being You Now. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be do doing a reading on money, unlock your flow. So the reason why I'm doing this reading, if you have, if you are subscribed to my channel and you're part of the um, community, you would have seen a, put, I put up a poll a while back, a few weeks ago on what is it that's currently playing on your mind. And I got the most number of votes on money, unlock the flow. So that is why today's reading is all going to be based on what is it that you need to know regarding money, finances, um, as it relates to long term. I will be pulling quite a few different cards. I have meditated, cleansed the space and um, the few things I will pick out first overall themes regarding money, finances, abundance, prosperity. And um, then I will be doing a traditional Celtic cross to see what are the challenges and what's the outcome regarding this specific topic. And um, then I will also be pulling a few different other cards, also finishing off with Oracle cards on abundance specifically. Now, I just want to caveat that this is, I'm not providing any financial professional advice around money. What I'm doing is looking at energies, working with energies and what energies are surrounding you as it relates to money, finances, wealth, abundance, prosperity, and what is it that you need to know to un unlock that flow for you in your life. Take it how it's re it resonates. If this is not the reading for you, I do these readings daily. There are lots of other readings that you can check out on my channel. I also do one card pulls, which is under the short section of my channel. And as I said, there's always something fun, fabulous under the communities tab. The other thing I want to say is thank you so, so, so much for all your donations, your support, your love, and um, also checking out the wish list. Um, I had a lot of fun with my wish list. Go check it out. There's some really cool, funky Aries um, merch that I've also added to my wish list. I really had to control my urge and myself because there was just so many cute things that I was like, I could have easily added to my cart. But then I thought, oh, we're getting a little bit carried away. So um, yeah, check it out. I've also put in some decks that I would like to add to my channel. So if you like different decks, go check it out. Check out um, what are some things that are interesting me. Even if, um, you know, you have no desire to send anything, but it's just something fun. You can check it out. It's there. Um, and let's go. Let's start. So um, what I'm going to do is I was guided to use this particular tarot deck, which is the Archangel Power Deck. And I'm going to pull out what are the themes. So what does Aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow what does aries need to know what does aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow lots of cards want to come up what does aries need to know so i was hoping there was one card but two came out what does aries need to know what does aries need to know that's it i'm going to just keep it at that because i'm doing the celtic cross as well so let's see, what's the surrounding energy for Aries? Okay. So what I'm, what based on the cards, I will show you the cards in a second so that you can see what has come up as well. But just tuning in, there is, of course, the Aries energy. We start off with the King of Wands. Great. This is Aries here right in the reading. I was almost tempted to say Emperor. We've also got the pentacle energy and we have the wheel of fortune, which I absolutely, absolutely love. And then we have the eight of wands. So here's what I want to say, looking at the overall energy around money, finances, abundance, prosperity, and how to unlock the flow for you, Aries, is that um, I feel like there has been a bit of a slow, the word slow motion is coming up. So um, there probably was a period of slow growth or perhaps not, not much movement, uh, perhaps delays and a lot of patience. I just feel like a lot of you had to be very patient as it related to finances, perhaps getting promotions, perhaps getting jobs, perhaps, um, you know, even st starting or getting income through other sources, i.e. investments, um, side hustles, other businesses and ventures. And I feel like for some of you, it was almost like, you know, being stuck in honey and really almost like trying to get out of this honey sticky situation because we have the four of pentacles. And for some of the others of you, take whatever storyline resonates, please. 
you know, I, I can only channel what is coming through. So I'm going to channel all that is coming through. If one story is not for you, it might be for somebody else. The other storyline that's coming up with the Four of Pentacles energy, and I will share these cards with you, is that perhaps you have really been um, frugal or mindful or holding on to what you have already created. Um, it's no news or no, not, no, not new news <laughs> that the cost of living has gone up. Uh, things are costing more and perhaps the level of income hasn't really caught up. I know that definitely is the case where I live um, in Australia that cost of living is increasing rapidly, but the income level has not caught up to the rate at which the cost of living is going up. So take what resonates, but with the four of pentacles energy, this is the initial, what I'm picking up. So let me just go through each of the cards and themes. Um, so this, this is the king of wands. So we start off with the Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag as well. So perhaps you have that in your chart or you have someone around you. But with this energy here, Aries, what I really am guided to tell you from spirit is this is about unlocking, unlocking, unblocking that flow. So what spirit is saying here is that Aries, you are already the king. You are already the um, leader, the visionary. And for some of you, this is all, almost encouraging you to look outside. When I say outside, you could say also look inside or look within. Um, King of Wands is a very entrepreneurial, business savvy energy. So for some of you, the way to unlock your flow would be not just the job um, or the current stream of incomes that you've got. Perhaps it's looking outside. That's why I said outside at other options and sources of income to grow your wealth, abundance and money flow. Now, remember, the king is visionary. The king takes action. Now, you can have all these cool ideas and I'm just going to say it the way it is. Very, very Aries-like, Aries style. I'm an Aries. So I'm just going to be very <laughs> straightforward here because that's how this message is coming across is that Aries, the, Aries and the king energy is about action. So there is no, if you are constantly cooking up these ideas in your mind, in your thoughts, and you never share it, or you never take action or do anything about it, then that's another reason why the money flow is not coming in because you're holding on tightly, which is this four of pentacles energy, um, which could literally block the un unlock the flow, but you're holding on to tightly to your current resources. Now, this also could mean, and I'm going to talk through this card as well at the same time, is that some of you might need to, you know, invest money. Some of you might need to get more education. Someone, some of you might need to hire people if you don't have the skill set. So if you hold on to all your resources, you're not going to get and unlock because the next next card is the wheel of fortune. So investing in yourself is the biggest investment you'll make and the best investment you'll make because you'll make returns. It's never, most people think that investing in yourself is a waste of money. I think that investing in yourself is the best investment because you are constantly growing and evolving and that enables you to do much bigger, better things that you would have other, otherwise not done. Okay. I didn't mean to spend that this much time on these cards, but it is what it is. So keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Now, remember, it says leave the details to others. So this is where I love this four of pentacles energy. As I said earlier, perhaps there are t the things that, that the thing that is holding you back is perhaps you want to start a business, but you don't know how to set up your website. You want to start a YouTube channel, but you don't know how to do that. Um, you want to become a coach, mentor, speaker, but you don't know what is required, or you may feel that you're not qualified enough or know enough Aries. If there is, or you want to say invest, but you feel nervous because that's something that you don't know much about, whatever the case may be in your situation. Sometimes we are the biggest block in our own lives. And I, I know that for a fact for myself, I'm not saying make, go and start spending all your money. Four of pentacles, the traditional deck, you know, there is this figure that's holding onto the pentacle at the crown chakra, heart center, and a pentacle on either underneath uh, uh, each of the feet. If I can get my words right. So this here to me, you want, you know, some of you might want to buy your own home. Some of you might be thinking of refinancing perhaps, or some of you are thinking of buying investment properties, just looking at the home here, you know, but you probably don't know how to do these things. 
that could be a way to un, you know get rental income perhaps that's your view or retirement you are thinking longer term for some of you you're thinking okay i've got my home now i want to build that but i don't want to because i have taken a mortgage just an example i have a mortgage or i'm renting i don't want to have more expenses because the cost of living is higher now remember this if you want to sometimes when we want to make more money do more things we need to also invest you know we have to invest whether it's in knowledge in skill sets or um, hiring people or even investing in ourselves so that we can equip and know and ma can make better decisions and choices so this card here says when you give you also receive oh my goodness there you go so this you know this whole thing about i'm not saying that you're hoarding onto your finances we are in a in a time where we have to be mindful of our finances our spending and what we've got we've worked so hard for it Aries and I I absolutely understand that but this is about that balance as well you know so that's what the first sentence is saying and being resistant to change so are you being resistant to change do you have these beautiful amazing ideas that could actually build from four of pentacles to the ten of pentacles for you that's a question only you can answer extremes in how you save or spend money so just are you spending too much money on areas that you don't need this is the other message that's coming through to unlock your money flow perhaps you need to you know do you have recurring subscriptions of things that you don't even use or don't even need you know i recently went through that and closed off a lot of my subscriptions that i wasn't using and i'm like why am i paying money to all these things you know and sometimes we don't know so I, you know, some of you, it might be that, or some of you, it might be, they're just memberships and things that you don't no longer need or use. So, you know, it's about that balance. And can you then use the resources that you perhaps save into areas that you, that could actually unlock that flow for you? Anyway, the wheel of fortune. So here you go. The key is right here. The energy is supporting the wheels to turn for growth, for prosperity, and things will happen very quickly. Once you decide, once you decide, take ownership, take charge, be the leader, king of wands, and take the action, whatever it is, whether it is to invest, whether it is to whatever it is with your finances, the wheels are turning and they will turn very quickly. The wheel of fortune is the most abundant card. I mean, I've only picked out four cards from the entire deck. You can see that. And the, what were the chances of the wheel of fortune appearing? Here it is. And we are doing a whole re reading around unlocking the flow. So new beginning, end of delay is a change in direction that off offers happiness. I really do feel for some of you, if this, this four of pentacles was you feeling stuck in a job, feeling stuck that you could not find something new or feeling stuck that you're not getting a promotion or in, even in your business where it just hit a plateau, all that is about to change, but you need to take action Aries. For some of you, you need to, this is, Keep an eye on social media, perhaps new ideas, new things might come through social media, people you're following, or follow those people that are doing what you want to do and desire to do. That's another with the eight of wands. This is very much, you know, social media. This is fast communication and fast action. So when, when you make the decision, when you take that ownership leadership, you decide what you're doing, what your goal is, and whether you need to spend money or what you need to do with your finances, the wheels are going to turn and you're going to get instantaneous results, Aries. This is fantastic. It says a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So this is where check your emails. You know, if you've been applying for jobs, if you've been applying for loans, um, grants, or even um, crowdfunding for your business to get it off the ground, Check your emails, check your spam folder. Maybe there's something in there. Um, also, pay attention to social media. Or perhaps you need help. You need to hire help to... I know that I'm not very savvy when it comes to social media. And I'm always a little bit um, <laughs> relaxed when it comes to promoting things on Instagram and all that. But that's something I am working on behind the scenes as I'm also doing my channel. For my products, you know, I've got a... I sell organic, natural skincare and products which, um, you know, I've been selling for, since 2017. So I'm working on getting that really out in front of my solar line people so that they know this amazing product that's 100% organic and natural exists that they can buy from me. So, you know, whatever that I'm using that and sharing that example because that is very, very relevant to me and I'm Aries. So the universe also has a message here for me. <laughs> okay, so let's get the Celtic cross. 
so i'm going to be i'm just leaving these cards here so we know that was the original overall theme for this reading so what does aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow what does aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow what does aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow Does Aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know regarding unlocking? What does Aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow? Three cards, please. Three cards. I don't know how many this is. Hang on. Trying to create space. I might need to move it across. We've got a bonus card, which I will leave here. All right. So where is Aries? You are at the heart of the reading. So a lot of you at the moment, you feel like you have a lot of options. Or you looking at options i feel like this is more you looking at options on how can you increase this money flow how can you get more abundance how can you get increase your finances and unlock that wealth for you your family and your loved ones this is actually not a bad place to be because this means that you're already thinking about things you're already keeping your eyes and ears open the only thing I would say is that just be mindful sometimes when you are looking at too many options you might be spreading yourself thin and also get into a state of confusion, which is when you won't move. So that's just something that I'm just going to throw there. So your current challenge, yep, Hermit. So a lot of you are looking within and um, you are looking and assessing your options as it relates to finances. You are like, okay, what does the world have to offer? What are all my different options? But you're not really, you haven't, you know, this is an inward thing. At the moment, I don't think you've taken any action. I feel like this has been a long process of you looking at, okay, long, hard look. Where do I see myself? Where do I see my finances? Where do I see this going? And I feel like in the challenge position at the moment, it's just like with the seven of cups, I feel like with the options, you keep, okay, here's what spirit is saying to me. The biggest challenge you've got at the moment is if you keep spinning your wheels amongst all these options, you're not going to move forward. So it's good to do research, but you also, the things that excite you, you need to take an action because you, otherwise you'll be only at options and collecting more options and not doing anything. So that's a dangerous place to be. Yeah, some of you at the moment, you feel stuck as it relates to money. You're feeling like, I don't know if I have any options. This is this is a different storyline. It may or may not apply. For some of you, you almost don't know where to start. You almost feel like, is this it? Is the job the only way I can make money? Is this the only way for me to move forward? Or you almost feel like you don't know where to even begin. So take whatever storyline resonates with the Eight of Swords. You actually have something coming, but coming slowly. So the Knight of Pentacles, this is in the unknown influence so there is something so some of you might have already started a business or started something but perhaps you haven't seen the success or the fruits of your labor yet i'll use the example of my channel as i'm recording these uh, readings when i'm recording at the time of recording this i haven't hit thousand subscribers yet so you know i can i can see daily readings doing daily readings every single day for aries plus doing one card pulls you know Unless I get donations, you know, at the moment, that's the way I get support for my channel. Otherwise, there is no, I'm not making any money from doing this. So I'm just using this as an example. I love doing readings, so that's why I'm doing this. This is, you know, so before you start going crazy in comments, but this is something I love doing. So that's why I'm doing it. So everything else is an extra for me. So, you know, it, uh, I'm using this as an example to get the message across. So it could be like that, that, you know, you might be running your own YouTube channel and you seeing that your subscribers are trickling in, trickling in very, very slowly. And you have it and you're wondering, gosh, how long is this going to take? 
It could be the same thing. You will launch a new business and you're not seeing the signups, the sales at the moment. So keep working at it is what I'm going to say for now. In the past, yeah, so some of you may have walked away from a job, a business, um, or a situation regarding, you know, perhaps perhaps you lost money in, in an investment or a business or something, uh, crypto, whatever the case may be, and you've, you've walked away to Karma Shores. And the reason why I say Karma Shores, because we've got the six of swords, but we also have the four of pentacles, we, we, which came up in the overall theme. So maybe that is why you're careful about where you spend your money. Maybe that is why you're mindful about, okay, what did I learn from that? I lost that money from, you know, that venture, that business, that investment. Now I don't want to have that level of risk. So again, you know, some of you are, this is th this where it is in your reading, past influence. You've come to karma shores, which is good, which is, which is good. Good indication in this reading and where it's positioned. Now, in the approaching influence, you've got the nine of wands. I actually like this because this means that you have been working hard and you are, you are just waiting for the harvest. This is how I see you. You're waiting for the harvest. So the harvest hasn't arrived yet. This is where you have to, you are only one wand away from success. Ten of, ten of wands, that's, that's the completion of the cycle. So keep going, keep going, believe in yourself, keep going, you've got this. And for some of you, this could be you have worked so hard and you're wondering, how can I grow more wealth and unlock that flow in the current climate and also, you know, the way the world is evolving because the world is evolving very quickly. You know, we now have automated cars, we have electric cars, we've got um, AI, you know, <laughs> we've got different currencies. I mean, there's so many different things that, you know, a few years ago, we never would have thought was possible. So this is where you have to stand your ground, keep centered and keep doing what you're doing because you're very, very close. Now, I love this with the star. This is Aquarius energy, by the way, this is in your inner resource um, section. So you, you have a lot of lessons, a lot of, you know, a lot of you have healed a lot as it relates to money is what I want to say where it is. You may not have recognized it. There is a lot more balance. So perhaps in the past where you have been, you know, may have spent a lot of money, earned a lot of money, you've learned a lot from whatever it is that you have gone through. The star is wish fulfillment as well. So what in this position, that's your talent, your wish will be fulfilled. But what you need to do is you need to keep at it. You need to take action and you need to keep taking action to get your wish fulfillment areas. To get to your wish fulfillment, this is very, very important. If you give up on this, the wish fulfillment, it's just not, it's hard to get a wish fulfillment when you don't continue doing what is it that's taking you closer to it. That's what spirit is saying. Now, others see you as someone who's moving forward continuously. So this is what others see you as. This is cancer energy. So um, chariot. So, you know, here I would say that you are ready to move forward because you've got the in the overall theme. You had the eight of wands here. We've got the nine of wands. You've got the wheel of fortune. So again, chariot has wheels. So you are ready to move forward. Aries, what I'm getting here is you need to start if you haven't already start putting your plans into motion, if you need help, advice, professional advice, again, I'm reminding you and caveating, go get that help professionally with someone who can help you so that you can keep moving forward and make progress. Yeah. In your hope, hope and fears, I think there's a lot of mental doubt and fear with the four of swords coming up here. This is all mental energy. So a lot of you are probably feeling, finding it difficult to, rest to relax to take a break because you are continuously thinking about this matter so one of the things that's coming through is that take a break take a break maybe go in nature go shift change your schedule do something different go somewhere different excite your senses and maybe it will become much more clearer to you because if you you are going to be keeping yourself stuck in this energy if you know you won't be able to see what is right in front of you. This is all a lot of mental energy here um, in your reading areas when it comes to money and finances. 
So in the outcome, I love this. There's something coming and coming very, very quickly. The Knight of Wands is excitement. It's enthusiastic. It's, um, it's hot, fiery, feisty, quick energy. And I love this because you have the Eight of Wands, which came up in your overall theme. So if I look at this, this is actually really, really exciting. If I look at these three cards, this excites me because to me, something is happening and happening very, very quickly, rapidly, because you've got that energy and you've got the wheel of fortune. I'm trying to make sure that you can see the cards at the same time. There we go. That's better. But then you can't see this <laughs> anyway, but you get the idea. So I'm just going to pop these back. My jumper is just creating a mess because I keep going from here to there. Now, like what I like is that we had an additional card that wanted to come up, which is the page of cups. So the page of cups is a new offer. So a new beginning, there is something new, a new message, which I absolutely love for you, Aries. I feel like this message will only come to you with, particularly with the eight of wands, which is again, communication energy. Now you've got the page of cups. I feel like this is something you love. This is something that gives you emotional fulfillment. So Aries, is there something that you love, you enjoy doing that you currently not, and you're thinking, thinking, and it's one of the cups in the seven of cups, and you're not sure if that's something you need to do. This is a question only you can ask yourself and answer for yourself. I'm going to move the candle so you can see the Knight of Wands. So ask yourself that Aries, ask yourself, what is it that gives you that deep level of emotional fulfillment and joy? because that is another way to unlock your flow. And I did say that right at the start, maybe you have ideas, maybe they're things, but maybe you just haven't acted on them. So I'm going to leave that there. Now I'm going to be pulling some cards from the deck, which I call money, prosperity, abundance, job, career. So this is the deck that I created. If you've liked and enjoyed this reading, please do hit the like subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And it also helps to get this message far and wide to other areas. So really appreciate that for you and for them and hit the notification bell. So, you know, when the next reading becomes available, I do do these readings daily. So you never know when you hit the jackpot. Yeah. Anything else regarding finance and abundant flow. Yep. Okay. Yep. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? To unlock. Okay. All right. I love this at the start at, at the at the top of the deck, we have new job. So if some of you have been worried whether you'll get a job, you're looking for a job, you're looking for a higher paying job that's coming. We've got new job at the top of the deck. So I really love that energy. So the fir first card that came out was balance, give and take. I love, love, love this because the four of pentacles actually says exactly that. It's about the balance. When we don't have balance, oops, when we don't have balance, that's when things happen. So balance in give and take. So maybe your receiving is blocked because you may be holding, holding on to money too tightly. So it has no room to grow. Sometimes that can happen too. Or perhaps you're too generous. And this is why I was talking about, you know, subscriptions and things like that. Do you really need it? Only you can answer that. Gifts, perhaps, you know, for some of you, you may receive an unexpected gift. Um, it could be gift in the sense of perhaps someone helping you start your business you know, they may, they may say, okay, I really, really support your mission. I don't want this money back. And they, they just want to support you from a, from the goodness of their heart could also be, I'm getting this strong thing of inheritance or family support as well for some of you. So take what resonates. I'm not surprised this has come up a lot of the times money mindset. So when this is coming here, if you have the lack mindset, the scarcity mindset, and if you're only thinking about doubts and fears, guess what you will be manifesting? Doubts, fears. So really work on your money mindset. And this is something that I am always working on myself as well as my clients, helping them remove and release blocks, belief systems, conditioning that actually hold them back. It's really, really powerful work. It's deep work. 
but this is what really starts to move the move the dial in the right direction you know the wheels in the right motion so gets the momentum because often when we are stuck and we don't know anything different we keep thinking the same thing and until you change that thinking you can't manifest what's there and available for you this last one some of you i feel like you know maybe you have had a job loss perhaps that's why you're having the money mindset maybe that's why you can't see perhaps that's why there has been delays we were in mercury retrograde remember that so you know you have had a job loss in the past or you are worried that you may lose your job with restructures restructures and all sorts of things happening in the current climate so you're looking at expanding that could also be another way to look at it so take up whatever resonates for you I'm going to pull some oracle cards to finish this reading. What does Aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow? What does Aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow? What does Aries need to know regarding unlocking money flow? Okay. We've got three cards. I'll start with the first one that literally flew out. Organize for success. I like this because, you know, just like we organize and clean our house, we also need to organize and clean up our finances. That also comes back to that money mindset, um, scarcity mindset. We need to we need to clean it up. We need to tidy up your office, your workspace, you know, perhaps just even decluttering. I feel like for some of you shift that old energy, whatever's not lighting you up, perhaps donate it, give it away. Um, you know, things that are making you feel that way because that's just going to keep you in more stagnant and stuck energy. So here it's saying, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. I love it. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. For some of you, this could also be getting help. I just got this download that maybe speaking to a financial advisor or a planner Perhaps you have these funds and you don't know what to do with it. You don't know how to maximize your return. So take what resonates and is applicable for your individual circumstance. That was the last card that came out. I'm just taking them in the order that they came out. Let go of guilt. I love this. I absolutely love this. A lot of the times, the reason why we are not getting money is because we feel guilty. We feel guilty that... You know, what will our family think if you start making more money than your partner or, you know, if you all of a sudden start making lots of different streams of income, you may feel like, oh, will my family still accept me? Will I still be relatable to my friends? We have all these sorts of doubts. This is the work I do in my coaching. If you're ever interested in working with me on money blocks and things, send me an email. So here it says, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So for some of you, this could be forgiving yourself. Forgiving yourself for wanting wealth. Forgiving yourself for desiring a different life. Um, for desiring a higher level of income. Forgiving yourself for desiring to have more sources of income and flow. You know, or desiring to even have your own business. You know, that things have shifted so much. Back in the day, we all went to a job and that's what we did. We worked for someone or we started something and that's what we did. Things have shifted so much now. People can be making money from anywhere in the world, from traveling, from vlogs, from Instagram. I mean, the opportunities and options are unlimited. Now, I'm not suggesting you go do that. But it can, you know, bring up these things of who am I? Who am I to have that lifestyle? Who am I to live that sort of life? These things can come up. So take what resonates here is. It's a very, very powerful reading, this. Savings. So here, I love this message of savings. Whilst it's... Okay, I'm just trying to choose my words very carefully so it doesn't get misunderstood or mistaken in terms of the message. The balance, there is a fine balance between savings and spending. I absolutely truly believe that savings is amazing. It's good to have savings. But if we are constantly only focusing on saving and not investing or 
spending money that will enable us to make more money then we are not we are blocking our own flow so that's where this balance of saving comes in make sure you s save money but make sure you also you know if you want to grow wealth you might have to spend money you know for example if you want to build a legacy or buy a house you have to spend money you might have to take a loan you know there's just different things are you consistent as you consistently save for your future your future is saved you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set set aside present funds this is a part for yourself part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life's purpose i feel like this is also a reminder you know it's easy often to spend but sometimes we forget that savings is just as important as spending. So that's a very different message. So say, for example, you know, you're living paycheck to paycheck and you never save anything. So this message could be for you that and you before you say to me, oh, but it's so easy for me to say you can start small. I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing the message and the energy that's coming through. You can start small. That's what I did when I was homeless. I had no money. I just started with five dollars a month. That's how I started. Five dollars a month is how I started my savings. And then, you know, so start where you're at and what is right for you. But, you know, spirit is saying that keep everything in balance and also safe so that you feel secure. You you feel secure for yourself and your family and your loved ones. So Aries, thank you so much for joining me today on this epic reading it's actually blown my mind away because i've never done this type of reading do check out the communities tab because i put up po votes and polls every now and again to see why what's the energy like and where you'd like more uh, more guidance so i can help and assist you and thank you from the bottom of my heart for, for all your likes subscribes comments and shares they mean an absolute absolute wor world to me can't get my um words right they truly mean so much to me. Every every single comment, every single subscribe subscription subscription to my channel, everything adds up, and you know it gives me so much joy. And um, yeah, thank you so much for your donations for supporting me and my channel. I truly truly appreciate it. I will see you next time.